I'm really excited because um, this will be my first time meeting an actual author in person. We are really proud to introduce Tim Green this morning and let me tell you a few fun facts if you don't know them already. He is a New York Times bestselling author. He's an attorney. He's a former NFL first round draft pick. He has visited more than 900 schools across the US um, and he has written lots of wonderful books. And so we read one this summer. You can be, I discovered, a lawyer, a doctor, a teacher, an engineer, an accountant, anything you create for yourself with your education, you can be. But sports, sports will abandon you. Sports always ends. And it never ends when you want it to. Question? So you went to Syracuse University in New York. Um, what did you major in and why? So Mary, I majored in English literature. And the reason why was because I love to read. <laughs> I started out as a pre-med major. And my sophomore year, I realized that I was going to be able to play in the National Football League because one of my teammates who played on the line next to me was, uh, was getting a lot of interest and the scouts were saying he was gonna be a high round pick. And I knew I was as good as he was, so I said, hmm, I'm not gonna be able to go to medical school because I'm going to the NFL. And, uh, and I love to read and I was taking an English class at the time and I thought, wow, I mean, I can get a degree in a college <laughs> degree for doing what I love to do and you know, reading and writing and talking about books. And uh, that was it. I, I absolutely loved it. When he talked to us, I just thought the way that he talked about books and writing was really great. And I was so excited to meet him and talk to him about it. How have you been inspired to write stories like Football Genius and Baseball Great? So um, I, I think that my initial, the initial idea, and I wish it was mine, it was my editor's idea was, look, if we can write stories, and I had been writing suspense novels, so short chapters, you know, cliffhangers at the end of the chapter, lots of action, and she said, you know, if we could do that, if you could do that kind of writing, and somehow set it in the world of sports, which is a world you know like no other writer that's out there, especially in football, there's no other professional writer, football players who are writers, really, and uh, I mean, so to speak, and um, you know, with, with, that, with the kind of background that I have. And so we thought, no, all right, I want to find stories that are in the world of sports. It's definitely going to change the amount of work that I'm going to put into it. It's going to change how I feel about it. And since he said that, like, just at the part of about the presentation where you're writing something and it takes if you just write something first time handed in it's garbage and you write it a lot more that makes me think a lot more about how I'm going to handle my school work and all my other work here on out yeah i think pretty much the same thing when he said like you have this you have so much potential and you can work towards that and i thought that was just a really change that like I can work even harder than I already am. Like there's no limit. You can just keep going at it. So I thought that was really great. I really want to work harder and do even better. So I like that a lot.